take... Well, while I wait, here for it. What's that? Well, I came up with the plan, so you get to chase the blessed thing around the room. Good. Uh... There we go, we got it. I got it, Alondra, I got it! Oh yeah, I need to talk to Septimus to receive it. Receive the Book of Runes. And now, it would seem like you're stuck. Now that that's finished, I believe I shall return to the main room to examine the pedestal more closely. Very nice. Oh. Yeah. Now it would seem like you're stuck and you can't do anything. But that is not the case. Because now we have one of the books, we can go back to the library looking place and then go south. And then we can place the book into the bookshelf. Small gap between two volumes. Shall we put the book? Yes. Yeah, that moves the book. The bookshelf there. I think aside from that, there was literally... Yeah, we had to do that in order to do this. I wanted to come quickly, I found yet another switch. I was like, hang on, maybe I didn't need to do that, but I did. Because that triggered this. Which is what we need in order to get access to the next book. It could be a trap, it could be anything. But we must try it anyway, right? Alright, here I go, pushing the switch. Yes, indeed, I'm pushing this switch that could kill us. Are you sure we should try the switch? Yes. There we go. What the? That sounded like it came from the east wing. And there we go, the book, the book, the... The dungeon is solved, essentially. If we go up here first, push, push, push all these stalls into the right places. And then we can go up here, do that, which opens the south door, get that chest, which is a life vessel. There we are. And I think the room to the south isn't that hard. You just have to move stalls back into their original place. Which sounds harder than it probably is because they literally just have to be moved to the right or to the left that's essentially all there is to it as you'll see and watch whoop oh no they all moved hey they w they're random that's cool yeah they move randomly at least the bottom one did ah oh, fuck Hooray for shitey hitboxes. <sighs> it is easy. The hitboxes in this game are not good. I learned that from the ice, uh, from Klein's Nightmare. Because that was a shitty place. When you had to get the, the pillars in a certain way, I would constantly mess that up through their, them having such huge hitboxes. Oh, this is not working in my favor. Oh my god, I did it again. It's just when one thing goes wrong. Oh no, when no nothing goes wrong, then something has to. That's just the way my shit goes. <laughs> Fuck's sake. This seems better, although I can still fuck it up. And probably will. Because they have horrendous hitboxes. I'm hoping I can only move it one way. So either left or right. There we go, Jesus. Save the book of verse. Third try was the charm with it. Took me a, a lot extra than it should have. God, that should have been done first try. But now the game likes to fuck with me. So dumb. Anyway. Once Sanctuary's out of the way, I'll be happy. Although, in fairness, it's not Sanctuary that made me quit the first time I recorded, it was the second dungeon we go to. Because it's... Uh, uh, God, it's a clusterfuck of bullshit. Yep, place the book. Boom. And as I've said, being hot never, never, ever helps. It just makes me feel... agitated. Oh. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. <sniffs> yep, 
Yay! We did it! Oh yeah. This room you have to get to the switch, and then the chest switch spawns without touching the carpet. If you touch the carpet, they disappear. Both the lever and the chest. So, it's a fun time. We did it! We got the key! Received a curious key. Yeah, for some reason I thought that was to get the book, but then I quickly realised in my head that that wouldn't work. We need the key. Wait. There you go, that's what happens. Yeah, we need the key to open up the altar. So that we can get to what's beneath it. Wow, I ran right into it. Look here, there seems to be a keyhole of some sort in the side, but it's quite unusual. In fact, I've never beheld its equal. I doubt I could fashion a key to fit it. I believe Ronan must have hidden the key somewhere... ...to this somewhere... ...in the sanctuary. We must find it. Well, did your investiga investigation meet with success, Alundra? Alundra hands over the curious key. I should probably stop reading so quickly. It seems to be a perfect fit, Alundra. Let's turn it and see what happens. Yeah, I've noticed that I read, like... I try to read way too quickly. It moved. By the gods, Alundra. Behold, a concealed staircase. I'll bet you a hundred guilder. Ronan knows only... Not only knows about it, he uses it. But for what? We'll find out. Yeah, I think, I think what's to blame for me reading everything so damn quick is because I purely... Well, no, I only... Now, anyway... I only watch YouTube in 1.5 times speed because it, it makes things so much better. It makes things so much shorter. I can watch a six hour video in like four hours. Uh, or it takes 40 minutes to watch an hour. It's so good. And that's why I do it. But because I do that, everybody talks quicker in 1.5 times speed. So I naturally try to talk quicker, which is probably a bad thing. This is a statue of worship, a statue for the gods. The king made it a crime to worship these idols. And here you are, breaking the law. Why, Ronan? Why? Now that the gods are not seen, they have been all but forgotten by sinful mankind. Called upon by us only in times of dire need, the gods are angry for treating them this way. I am a faithful servant of the gods, and I continue to respect and honor them. I have violated the king's law since its inception, yet I have not hidden that fact. Most of the good people here are know of my crime. I'm like adding words where they're not needed. Are you saying the gods are angry with us, Ronan? That they are the root cause of our nightmares? The only one who said the nightmares were the work of evil was Mia. Or was it you, Alundra? I never spoke, so... I don't understand. Why are the gods who created us now torturing and murdering us? Because we have betrayed them, Septimus. When the king's foolish edict was issued, we lost our ability to create. So instead, we learned how to control and manipulate our own dreams. We sought out happiness in the worlds within our own minds. The domain of our personal ID. Don't you understand? It's not the gods who are at fault. It's us. Okay. Let's go, Alundra. Talking to this zealot is a waste of time. Ronan, we shall carry on in our fight against this evil that has come upon us. Even if we find ourselves battling merciless gods themselves. For a god without mercy is a demon. Definitely is. Oh, really? I'm sure the gods are cowering in fear at your ill-thought blasphemy, Septimus. Interesting. So Ronan's gone crazy. Religion changes people. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. There could be no doubt. It was a portrait of Melzaz in the basement of the sanctuary. Is Ronan the only one who worshipped his image, or had the had other villagers knelt before the ghoul as well? Hopefully not. That would not be good. Hey, Jess is creating. Which can only mean one thing. Alundra, when I woke up this morning, my hands were aching to create. I ran down to the workshop and made this, almost without thinking. What the fuck is it? Power glove? Interesting. Is that going to allow me to lift, like, rock? Like, big rock statues or something? Then I realised that another of the villagers must have died. Please tell me everyone is alright, Alundra. Please! Well, here's Septimus. 
Alondra, it's... it's awful. Sybil is dead. Murdered. In cold blood. Wait, what? No, oh no. Seems Jess is only able to create when people die. Go to her house quickly, perhaps you can find clues as to what caused her death. I know what caused her death. And it's pretty fucking crap. Oh, the music all sad now. I don't like it. <sighs> Sybil was my only friend. She was a nice little girl. She had like very, very creepy eyes. Very, very red. The funeral is over, but many of the village are li villagers are lingering at the cemetery, mourning our loss. Alondra, have you heard? The word is spreading that Sybil didn't die from a nightmare like the others. She was put to death as she ple peacefully slept. Someone in our village is a cold-blooded killer. I'm frightened, Alundra. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, Sybil's been murdered. I don't know why. I'd assume we'll find out. But I don't know why. If I had to guess, it would be because she, her her dreams come true. So she can't dream, they can't come true. But even st they'd still come true, regardless of whether she dreamt it or not. Can I just like walk in here and walk out? No, I have to talk to one of them. Sybil admired you long before the rest of us knew what to think. You should reward her devotion to you with a prayer in light of her recent passing. Oh no, I think I just have to talk to all three of them. I don't want to bury any more loved ones, Alundra. I want peace to return to our village once more. Did you speak with Fane? Fiend. I cannot imagine anyone in the village savage enough to kill an innocent girl. Oh, here we go. Yes, this is where we find out what happened. You don't see it happen, obviously, but... You see someone walk away. Sybil, darling? Sybil, where are you, honey? Here we go. Do they block off the exits to, like, Sanctuary at night, then? There she is. Uh, S S Sybil? And there we go, look who it is. So my suspicion is either Lutus or Ronan. But I don't know if it is Ronan. Like, that could just be a coincidence. Humans can create objects of almost indescribable beauty. Yet they also possess the ability to commit egregious... egregious? Eg eg I don't know how you say that. Acts of unspeakable horror. Oh dear. There we go. Now they move out of the way. Right, I've already done that. I know, I know, I know. Although Ron could have found her, but considering he's gone kind of crazy, I'm assuming it was Ronan. I have something to ask Mia, but she's yet fast asleep. I'm afraid I don't take her as much of a morning person, so I'll leave her be. I wonder why she was up so late last night. Wait, there is a way to know what she thinks. Why didn't I think of it before? Alondra, I must ask you, will you enter Mia's dream while she yet sleeps? We need to learn once and for all if she is friend or foe. Okay. Sybil's neck was broken like a matchstick. I refuse to believe that one in this village could be evil enough to commit such an atrocity. Oh, it's pretty fucked up. The darkness tries to disguise itself within the light. It has been the case since the dawn of time, friend. I'll just try and reading slower, and if I make less fuck-ups, then that's the case. I feared something like this would happen. Oh, Alundra, thank you so much for being her friend. It's okay. Gladly. It looks like she died, though. Of all the characters they could have killed off, they killed off the little girl. I shall wait for you at the house of Myra. Yeah, because that's where Mia's staying. Oh, that's who Mia's living with. Ba dum, ba dum, bum, dum dum. Oh, it's all sad. I don't like it. It's not like making me cry or anything, but it's still sad. <laughs> I'm pretty fucked up that they killed a little girl for no reason. I think it'd probably be out of fear more than anything. I shall distract Myra long enough for you to enter Mia's chamber. 
and enter her dream. Let's do this before I lose my nerve, Alundra. Alright, lead the way. Good morning, Myra. What do you want? Mia is sleeping. Come back later. Actually, Myra, I've come to speak with you about Mia. Is there some place private we could go to discuss this? What? If you have something to say, say it to me now. I don't have time for your foolish games. No, not here. I promise it won't take long, Myra. And I wouldn't ask you to speak privately unless it was truly of utmost importance. Please. Fine, fine. I'll go with you and hear your little secret. But what could you possibly know about Mia that I don't? I'm the one who's living with her, caring for her needs, not you. What kind of needs are we talking about here, huh? Oh. There we are. We're in the house. I'm in. Alright, let's enter her dream. This is actually a cool, a very cool segment. Z <laughs> it is. We go into her dream and play a game of hide and seek. And also a game of stupid fucking puzzles. 